right, guys, we're back. I'm your boy DeAnthony. I'm my boy Don. What's up? My boy Christopher the Con here. Yo, and we are Break Room Blitz, baby. Right. So we just got through watching The Walking Dead Season 7, Episode 7, Sing Me a Motherfucking Song. Sing I a song. am your sunshine. <laughs> Slap! I know, Don't right? be singing that. Oh, God. <laughs> It was a good song. <laughs> I'm gonna buy that on vinyl. Yeah, when his mom was singing to him when he was a baby. <laughs> like, I, I was waiting for him to do the itsy bitsy spot. <laughs> I will say, out of all songs, well, uh, he had to pick like that. Like, uh, that Dude. Uh. All right, so starts off, we get Carl and Jesus in the truck. Yeah. Um, what are you guys thinking here? Is this a nice introduction to this? episode or i think it was cool like i i was i was good all the all the way up until like you know carl finally made his move and he was at negan's base i was like really surprised that he made it all the way there you know and i had no idea that he had some guns with him like that not not that gun you know i don't think he but, had any guns with him he was just surprised there were guns or well, maybe he knew there were guns already in the truck oh probably That's why you picked that one maybe they did confiscate a lot of stuff you know yeah. it was a truck full of like stuff you know right so maybe he knew that already so i mean like now why there's like not that, a back of this good. truck i have no idea oh well it's it's one of those freezer trucks usually they have it open usually the sliding door i don't know why they didn't have that up that's that's interesting it's a zombie apocalypse okay don't worry yeah. about doors come <laughs> 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 on <laughs> so i mean like it, it was cool all the way up until like when carl was squaring down with all of negan's crew i mean he oh took some guys down so you know, Jesus was like, "All right, we need to jump out of here. Let's roll." All oh, right, yeah. Mm -hmm. What you guys think about? Where you? Would you jump out the truck? No, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to scrape up anything and like I might break something, man. But the issue is when you fight it, you guys just roll with it. Oh, you just gotta go like just like limp. <laughs> yeah, yeah. rag right oh Like I can, I can picture a Don following Jesus. Jesus like rolls, does this cool thing, and Don's like, "Okay, do everything, but don't do nothing," and then. Go, <laughs> you can see him sliding cool. afterwards. Serious. So, I thought it was kind of like gullible for Jesus to like, okay, I'll show you. Because Carl's like, oh, you yeah, just show me, I'll do it. Yeah. And he just jumps out and rolls. Now, he could have bust, bust an elbow, could have bust yeah. his knee. Like, but he's but he's Jesus. He's a little yeah. tiny baby infant, oh, four wow. barely even walk, baby <laughs> Jesus. Do you think it was messed up for him to leave him like that? Or for Carl to leave him like that? Or uh, No, I think no. Carl's is. Carl is kind of messed up himself, so it doesn't surprise me I'm that he did that. I'm telling you, we're getting the snap. It's coming. I mean, I, Carl, I, I kind of felt it, but... Carl's got... Dude, Carl is the only one doing anything, to be honest. Well, Michonne's following now. Michonne's starting to be a little bit more aggressive, but Carl was the first one to be like, I don't care. I'm Negan's threatened me like 20 times. I'm going there now. I'm hiding yeah, but in But when truck. you get there, you don't do anything. You have a machine gun, and then... No, they killed, like, two guys. Negan shows up without a bat, without a gun, walks in front of you, and you don't do nothing. Yeah. Is this the Carl you're talking about? Is this the Carl you want to see? It's coming. Yeah. It's coming, son. Nah. It, that was the opportunity. That was it. No, that's, that was the stir of the that pot. That was it. It's boiling now. It's like it's like they had they had it going, and the water started to bubble, and then now Carl just turned it up. Now it's starting to get really hot. No, so I, I, I feel Carl, like he, he gave Negan a lot more of like things to use against them. Anyway, he he put himself in a bad situation. Well, I, I, the way I see it is, is it, this is the turning point because the thing is, Carl has followed Rick this whole time, and Rick um, has been vindictive for the most part, but he's been still the straight arrow cop. Yeah. But now he's getting another side of that fence where Negan is vindictive to be vindictive, but he, it's it's almost like Rick gave him nuts, and now <laughs> Negan's gonna make his nuts drop. <laughs> so I, I, th I know that's horrible, like a weird way to say it, but that's honestly that's because Carl this whole time, you know, has been behind his dad, and his dad still hasn't. He only put the foot down when he absolutely had to. Negan just puts it down because he can. Mm -hmm. So this is where Carl is going to get the difference and a piece from both worlds. I hope so. I think. I I'm hope hoping. So. Yeah. I'm hoping. This is what I'm. I, I, I think Carl is going to be <clears throat> uh, Hook. What's the Hooks? Um, in Hook, we have Peter Pan has his son. And then Hook kind of adopts his Peter Pan son. No. I think it's going to be like that. He's going to be like, no. Dad, he's a great person, though. He's only doing it because he has to. No, if they, no. If, if they end up going that him. route, I mean, that'll be super whack. Because, I mean, after seeing Glenn get his head bashed in, no. 
No. There's no forgiveness. Well, then why did you shoot through people? You got to shoot through people to get know. to Negan. Yeah, I, that, but still, I mean, he, <sighs> Carl got some very valuable information from Negan on this one, especially when he challenged him on the whole thing where he's telling him, you can't kill us. You couldn't. He, he just calls him out on it. And Negan, like, is sitting there, like, poker face saying, you might be right. And I'm just like, Carl, Carl's catching on to this, this pretty quickly. Like, he's figuring out Negan while Negan's putting everyone under his foot. So I, that's what I'm saying. Like Carl, Carl's getting his game on. I, I'm glad you feel that way because I thought that the episode was pretty garbage. I mean, it's not, not the worst one of the season, but it's not what it's not the formula that got me hooked on the show. Yeah. So it was still mediocre. So I'm glad you maybe you found some things that you like. Maybe you saw yeah, there, something been... in Carl that I didn't. I didn't see anything that was awesome in over, Carl. Over the weekend, I actually went over some of the episodes again and kind of watched them, you know, back to back to back. And I definitely have moments where I'm just like, all right, come on. But then I just went with the characters that I'm still remotely interested in. I, and because I do know the stories purely about Carl, supposed to be at least, I'm, st- I'm, I'm, I'm still attached to certain characters. And when I'm getting piece of the, pieces of those characters and it's starting to stir up, like the Carl turn, it's going to come. And it's going to be epic. It better be AMC. I mean, I feel like if they gave us like an hour and a half long episode, yeah. where, 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 where they took us in the episode and Carl's busting out with that gun and he's shooting, I was just like, here we go. Here we go. This is the kind of episode we're going to get. And then everyone goes and tries to rescue Carl. But, you know, it just, it was super mild. It, was, Very, it would have been like, it would have been more impacting if he would have came out the truck and started gunning people down. Negan was gone. And then he sees Negan, lifts up, and then someone tackles him. I would have preferred that because it would have been like he was going for a shot. Like you said, Negan pops out, and Carl's got him in dead aim. Like, I would have just, tap, done. Yeah. All right, Negan's done. I own everything. <laughs> Show's like, over. <laughs> or you, it's a suicide mission. <coughs> yeah. I got my target, even though they're probably all going to kill me. But honestly, I think they wouldn't kill anyone that killed Negan. Mm-hmm. I think they would probably appreciate Chop the it. head off the mm-hmm. snake, and that's it kind yeah. of thing. Yeah. And, and I mean, like, you know, they, they showed us Daryl, too, and I, I thought that Daryl was going to be able to, you know, think a strategize of a way to get out of there with, you know, Carl. No, that's not, I don't see, that's not Daryl's strong suit. Daryl is a great right-hand man. He's a great tool Support. to have, yes. Yeah. But he's not a mastermind. Yeah, but this also let us know that Daryl's not completely gone, because he even, he talks back to Negan, and he says, if you even do anything, and then Negan's all like, nope! And like put him back in his box, and so like you know, I actually like that part. Yeah, like there, there's like Negan. I'm you know what I, I'm. It's what I'm having one of those love hate relationships with him. Even though the character's consistent, just who he is, he's he's a legitimate douche. He's pretty ri- like, ridiculous. He's, yeah, he, he's, he's pretty ridiculous. He, but he's a funny yeah. kind of like yeah. villain. I'm not a big fan of how he's portraying himself or portraying his badassness. It's kind of cartoonish. A yeah. Bit. Well, it's a comic um, book. Oh, yeah, <laughs> but I, I don't know. It's not that believable. It's not believable to where everyone's like bowing down. Everyone? Yeah, everyone. Yeah. I don't know. That seems a little bit much for what he's giving me. But so anyway, um, so we get to see Carl's eye for the first time. Yeah. I thought that was kind of epic. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, that was, you know, it, it, it showed Carl his vulnerability. You know, he puts on this like strong persona because he's gone through all this and then like finally it shows like his scars you know and what he's been through and right. like you know this his handicap i mean he was shot in the beginning like the first season. shot in the barn shot in the barn I and mean, uh, he had to kill his mom yeah he's had to kill things left and right he's yeah. been shot in the eye he you know he's done what he's had to do and yeah. i mean carl he has the potential and i really hope amc executes it well because we damn we we need a, a reinvented character now. We we've gone through Rick. Rick's deteriorated now, and now that Rick's been deteriorated, you kind of lose sense of that hero figure now. And if Rick were to come back, it's still not going to be the same because it's like you know, are you going to buckle again there, buddy? Like, no one is going to take over Rick's place <coughs> unless Rick dies. So, unless you are okay with that, no, I, I honestly feel someone else can can take the front boat now. And then he's going to just yeah. sit back. Actually, no. That's, I don't know. He's it's, doing it right now. For he's the most part. Back. But no one no one's actually carrying the mantle. Everyone's trying to figure out what Negan to do. Is. Negan's carrying the mantle of everybody right the now. The story really fo- follows no, he's Rick. Not, he's not on the same team. Hmm? The, the story follows Rick. Like oh, yeah, you were saying, like, yeah, you know, the is. comic follows Carl, but this one follows Rick. Well, in, in the initial comic, it, 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 more, it does surround itself around Rick for, for the most part. This is actually the turning point where things start to flip, which is why I'm saying this is the perfect 
But the thing is, I, I actually, as far as it comes to the season goes, mm-hmm. uh, in execution of comic in parallel with the, with the show, the show is just not intriguing enough as the comic was as far as how everything's going down. The, it, like, mm-hmm. for instance, there's a couple scenes where I'm just sitting there going, like, this is pointless. Like, I get the whole iron scene, cool, Merry Christmas. It didn't need to be that long. That scene where freaking what's his name meets his wife down the hallway, that was not needed. Like, okay, let's 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 get out this excess crap. Give me some meat. I need some more meat, and that's what I'm hoping for. But I just I feel like they're treading it. See, I think that with with that, I think that they're gonna end up breaking up either way. If mm-hmm. she stays with Negan, or if you know once Negan is, is gone, I think they're still gonna break up because she's like. He's like, well, we're not doing anything. She's like, yeah, I know we're not. We're not doing nothing. And then she just <laughs> moves on. She just walks off. Yeah. Like, you're not being a man. That's why nothing's happening. Exactly. Right. right. So it's I like they're like not going to be the this is a, Yeah, that's yeah. the thing, too. Like, I'm looking at this guy. Like, even most of these guys that get, have, have to give up their woman to, to Negan, I'm sorry. No. Not doing it. I don't give it. I will I will sit there and be like, yeah, yeah, take her. And the moment you turn your back, I'm going to fucking try to kill you. Like, no, it ain't going down that way. Yeah, all he has is bad. Yeah, the only way you take my wife is if I'm dead. That's the only way you're going to get it. And I'm not going to die because I, I fucking love her and I want to make love to her later. So I'm going to kill you and then make love to her. And then drink your beer. Okay. <laughs> 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 um, side note, I do like your mug, by the way. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah I brought pretty the mug. Cool. It's pretty dope. I do yeah, like that. Yeah. Um, so do you? I mean, do you guys think that the the vulnerability that Carl showed was appropriate? He's crying. He's singing lullabies. The crying thing kind of bothered me a little bit. I'm yeah. so over it. I'm so over it. Like, like I like what they were giving us as far as Carl. Like at the beginning of the season, where like you know Negan was telling his dad Rick, you know, uh, chop off his arm, and you know Carl was just like, you know what, just do it. You know, just do it. But is that his submissiveness? submissiveness because he's sub- submitting to Negan right now. He's submitting then just do it. Whatever you want to do to me, just do it. I, I don't know. I feel like that's... But that's why at, at the beginning of this episode, he's starting to fight back, you know? He he, he went all the way out of his way. He was... He, sh- he killed, you know, maybe one, two guys. I don't know. But you know what that reminds me of? When he went on his own and he was mad at his dad and he wanted to be... Like, he was, I am someone. And he went on his own. He found out that you're really not shit. And you need help. And yeah. I feel like that's what that episode, it was just a, uh, it just reenacted it. It was the same right. thing, same principle. Because mm-hmm. he went there thinking he was all big and bad and did nothing. I think no. it's just the small details when it comes down to Carl because the choices he's, that he's making are, are very drastic right now. He's acting like a kid. He really is. I mean, there's a, you know, when you kill my friend, I'm going to grab all my weapons, I'm going to go kill you. And then you get there and you freeze. I mean, you kind of get lost in that moment. I mean, you don't know what you're going to do when you get in that moment. You do realize that there's like 50 people. If you shoot Negan, you're, you're going to die. That thought has to cross your head. Mm-hmm. And so there's a hesitation there. But now he's behind enemy lines. Negan's taking him in. He's in the perfect position to pull a Caesar. He's not a bit behind enemy lines. They went back to Alexandria. Yeah, but then they're going to go probably go back again. You don't know. You don't know what's going to happen in an episode. I don't know. Yeah. But, so, but I don't I, have a lot of hope. I mean, there, we got one episode left at this point, right? All right, so what about Miss Shone? Does this seem kind of a little outside of, you know, what she said she wanted to do? She said she wanted to follow Rick, and now all of a sudden she's on her own talking about give me, give me to Negan. Negan. Yeah. Right, I mean, because, I mean, okay, in the previous episode, Miss Shone, she was trying to, like, learn how to shoot, right? She had a sniper rifle, and Rick took it away from her, and so, like, now she's just, like, she, she doesn't even have that, but, like, she's going back to what she knows, and that's, you know... Yeah, they show her walking down the road, whistling, and the zombie's right behind her again, you know, and she has her katana ready, and she, she makes a she? trap. Yeah, she Because does. she puts the katana down, and mm-hmm. they specifically show me that as if it was some type of significance, and then all of a sudden she's killed all these zombies. I don't get that. No, they showed it again. I don't get they that. showed her with the sword again when she, when she stopped the girl. Did they? Up, but yeah. what's the point she of showing me? She held the sword me? right to her. Oh, okay. What's the, what's the point of showing me that she drops it? It's just bad filmography. They they've been doing this with the hatchet we were talking about. That's earlier, what I'm saying. There's, there's there's just parts that just like I mean maybe they're gonna do some you know anticipation. I don't know. But I'm saying this extra cheese that they have. If there's no effect, if the, if it's not gonna come back into the story at all, you don't need to waste our time with it. Like you guys have already carried on so much, and I get it's supposed to be a drama. I get it's supposed to leave an impact, but it's not gonna do anything for us. If you're gonna show or drop the sword, make it seem like they're significant, and then she's gonna have it again later. That's all just fat on the meat. 
give me the meat. Right, yeah. You know, and, and so I, uh, the episodes aren't bad. Like, looking at it as drama, looking at it as it's progressed, there's things I enjoyed. But there's just too much fat on the episodes But the thing with drama, it has to be dramatic. Yeah. That it, drama stands for something. <clears throat> it's not just a word we just toss loosely. It, it has a definition. Like, this episode, it, it, it makes less and less sense the more I think about it. Because it's just like, why is the whole group going, like, their own separate ways to go to the same place to find Negan? Because they're so broke, maybe. Like, they're so broke, they don't want to communicate. Yeah. Even though they all seem to have the same idea. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But they don't want to communicate that, because when they get together, they're like, no, Negan's in charge. Mm -hmm. So, I I don't know. I mean, it was an hour and a half. Mm -hmm. If it was maybe an hour, I would probably give it a little less slack. It was an hour and a half, and I don't feel like I'm any further along in the story than I was That's a lot of time. It's a lot lot of time to do something, and so... Yeah, know, what, if, one more if, episode if, left? Is it one which more? is another hour and a half. Yeah. yeah. One more episode though, right? We're done? Yeah. That's For it. the mid-season the mid- finale. Like, what is that? It's really bad. I mean, uh, maybe I made a mistake, but I ended up watching uh, Westworld, the season finale, uh, like right before I watched this episode. And I went from watching that epic finale to this one. And I was just like, this is garbage. Even if I compare the last two episodes from this one and, you know, Westworld and Walking Dead, man, it's really bad. I've been with the show for a while, and I do appreciate it for what it is, but I'm seeing the little the little driblets of what they're capable of doing and what they can do. I'm just hoping they do it, and that's just the, that's the problem. As a, a viewer, I shouldn't be hoping this much to get something from you guys. I should be getting something from you guys. And that's right. just the danger zone. So I see exactly where you guys are coming from. He's optimistic. I'm, I'm very yeah. optimistic about it because I do know the comics. I do know the story. And you guys have so much opportunity to make this epic. But you guys have to stop putting all this this gristle there. Like, I mean, just start cutting to the chase. You, you guys have so much potential for it. Fluff. And, it's a lot yeah. of fluff. So it's like, I mean, don't yeah. don't drag us on to get more money. Like, freaking give us something that's worth watching. Make me so excited to watch the next season. It's going to drive me crazy. Like, you're going to make me what we five it, months it, to watch the next It's losing a lot of viewers. Yeah. Right, right. You guys might not agree with us, but numbers don't lie. Stats. So yeah. they're falling off. And I feel yeah. that too, man. All right, guys. So that's our review. Thanks for watching. We're Break Room Blitz. I'm DeAnthony. Adan. Mr. Couch. Uh, oh, also like, subscribe, share, and comment. We want to know what you guys feel. So let us know. Do you guys think that <laughs> Carl had his debut, or do you think that he really just failed and flopped here? Let us know, guys. All right, we're Break Room Blitz, baby. Peace. That's our show, Break Room Blitz. Chicka pow. Watch and like. Pow pow. We're out. Pow pow. See, I really like Black Panther because. A lot of times when they put African Americans in the movie, they're always one way. They're always static. Either they're always angry or... It was just oh, like, man. oh my god. I remember just like, this is a great movie. This <laughs> is a great <laughs> movie. I remember... Hero to Villain Complex. I did. You? And after I walked out of the theater, I actually... It took me...